happy morning my dear students a warm welcome from sheba kripal school online class hope that you are all fit and fine at home students today our subject is maths are you all ready for the class children students in today's class first we are going to learn about money we are going to learn about money indian money symbol indian money symbol is this ma this is the symbol of rupees this is the symbol of rupees students what is money ma If you go to a shop and buy a pencil, you give five rupees and you buy the pencil. That five rupees is the money. Now, if you go to a shop, you get a pair of five rupees. Cut the pencil, you get a roll. And the five rupees is the number of angra money amount. Okay, Vama. Now, what are the coins that are exist exist existing? The coins that are existing are one rupee, two rupees, five rupees, ten rupees. The currency notes that are existing now are ten rupees, twenty rupees, fifty rupees, hundred rupees, two hundred rupees, five hundred rupees, and two thousand rupees. Okay, Mama. Let us see the real coins first. Okay, Mama. One rupee coin, two rupees coin, five rupees coin, ten rupees coin. Let us see the Currency notes. This is ten rupees currency note. Twenty rupees currency. Fifty rupees. Hundred rupees. Two hundred rupees. Five hundred rupees. Students, take page number thirty-nine in your third to max book. Okay, Vama. Complete the table for the given amount. Amount paid. Number of ten rupees. Number of One rupee. The amount paid here is thirty-five. Number of ten rupees is three. Number of one rupee is five. Amount paid is seventy-eight rupees. Number of ten rupees is seven. Number of one rupee is eight. Amount paid here is eighty-nine rupees. Number of ten rupees is eight. Number of one rupee is nine. Now we are going to calculate the Amount paid, number of ten rupees, number of one rupee amount paid. The number of ten rupees and one rupee is given. Now we are going to uh, add the amount and we are going to write it here. Okay, Vama. Number of ten rupees it is four. Number of one rupee is eight. So forty-eight. Answer here is amount paid is forty-eight. Number of ten rupees is five. Number of one rupee is six. The amount paid is fifty-six rupees. Number of ten rupees is six. Number of one rupee is zero. The amount paid is sixty rupees. Friends, take page number thirty-nine. Write the total amount of given currency notes and coins. Okay, friends. See, this is fifty rupees currency note, twenty rupees currency note. And ten rupees currency note. Now we are going to write it and find the total amount. First, we have to write fifty rupees. Fifty. Next, have to write twenty rupees. Twenty. Then we have to write ten rupees. Now we are going to add and find the total amount. Zero, zero, zero. If you add the zeros, you will get only zero. Then five plus two seven seven plus one eight so eighty. So the total amount is eighty rupees. Okay, ma. Students, take page number forty in your third term max book. Comparison of price. Pari bought a doll for rupees fifty for his Sister, Arivu bought a doll for rupees seventy for his brother. Students, which is costly, ma? Fifty rupees doll or seventy rupees doll, ma? Yes, seventy rupees doll is costlier than fifty rupees. Okay, ma? Next, we are going to learn about time. It's in page number forty-four. Students. Let us learn how many months the months are there in a year. January, February, March, April, May, 
जून जुलाई ऑगस्ट सेप्टेम्बर अक्टोबर नवंबर डिसम्बर देर आर ट्वेल्व मंथ इन अयर नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द डे संडे मंडे ट्यूजे वेनजे थर्सडे फ्राइडे एंड सैटर्डे देर आर सेवन डे इन वीक students take page number 44 fill in the blanks there are 12 months in a year march is the third month of a year june comes before july may comes between april and june write the day that comes between the given days thursday friday saturday saturday sunday monday friday saturday sunday wednesday thursday friday students take page number 45 now you are going to fill in the blanks the month which comes after april is may the last month of a year is december students take page number 46 tick the actions which takes less time tick the actions which takes less time edu less time la mudiyuma anga anda edathula nam enna panna pora porom tick panna porom traveling from chennai to delhi if you travel by flight it will take how much time ma less time or more time yes if you travel by flight it will take only less time but when we travel by train it will take more time so we have to tick by flight to tick here reaching the school from your house reaching the school from your house காலையில் இப்போ நம்ம ஸ்கூலுக்கு சைக்கிளில் வரமா வந்தால் லெஸ் டைம் ஆகுமா இல்லை பஸ்ஸில் வந்தால் லெஸ் டைம் ஆகுமாம்மா எஸ் வென் வி கம் பை ஸ்கூல் பஸ் இட் வில் டேக் லெஸ் டைம் வென் வி கம் பை பை சைக்கிள் இட் வில் டேக் மோர் டைம் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு டிக் பை ஸ்கூல் பஸ் ஹாவ் டு டிக் பை ஸ்கூல் பஸ் பெயிண்டிங் ஆர் கலரிங் விச் வில் டேக் லெஸ் டைம்மா எஸ் ஓன்லி கலரிங் வில் டேக் லெஸ் டைம் a painting a wall will take more time so we have to tick a picture students take page number 48 see here ma see the picture small containers can be filled faster than the big containers small containers vandu namba enna pannala seekarama fill pannila big containers vida okay ma ma tick the container which takes less time to fill tick the containers which takes less time to fill see here is a tank water tank and here is a tub a tank is a big container a tub is a small container so a tub takes less time to fill so you have to tick here near tub next see here ma this is a jug this is a can a can is a big container a jug is a small container so jug takes less time to fill so tick near jug next picture it is a rice sack and this is a paddy a rice sack is a big container and paddy is a small container so paddy takes less time to fill so you have to tick near paddy next we are going to learn about information processing information processing students take page number 49 students see the picture can you all see the picture ma yes what are the living creatures seen in the pond crane duck turtle the dove is flying in the sky it is flying in the sky observe the living creatures seen in the pond what have we observed yes we have observed crane duck turtle and the dove flying in the 
sky. Okay, students. Now let us write creature number of creatures. What is this, ma? Yes, this is a crane. How many crane is there? Cranes are there. There are four cranes. One, two, three, four. So write four. Then this is a turtle. Count the turtles in the picture. One, two, three. Three. Count the ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six ducks. Next we are going to count the dove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven doves. Students, now tick the bird found in more number. Crane or duck. Which bird is found in more number ma? Crane or duck? Didn't get wrong. So the correct answer is duck because there are six ducks but only there are only four cranes. So the correct answer here is duck. Tick the creature found in less number turtle or dove. The correct answer is turtle because there are only three turtles. So turtle is in less number. So we are going to underline turtle here. Tick the bird found in less number dove or duck. Which is a bird found in less number? Yes. Duck is in less number because there are seven doves but there are only six ducks. So we have to tick duck. Fourth one. Dash is seen in large number in the pond. Pond la, which is found in large number ma? Yes. Duck. Because there are six ducks. So you have to write here duck. Among all the living creatures the le least found in the pond is what ma? Yes. Turtle. Because there are only three turtles. So you have to write here turtle. Next we are going to learn tally marks. Tally marks are lines. Let us now learn how to draw the tally mark lines. For one you have to draw one line. For two you have to draw two lines. For three you have to draw three lines like this. Then four you have to draw one, two, three, four lines like this. For five you have to draw one. 2, 3, 4, 5. You have to draw the lines like this. For 6, you have to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have to draw lines like this for 6. For 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. For 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is how you have to draw the tally mark lines. Okay, ma? Students, take page number 50. Students, are you the farmer records the number of animals that are seen inside the fence using tally marks. Inside the fence using tally marks. These are the animals that are inside the fence. These animals are outside the fence. Okay, Vama. Uh, can you all see the picture? Yes. Now we are going to, what Ma? We have to write, now we are going to uh, write the tally marks. Okay, Va. Animals, tally marks. Number of animals. See what, what animal is this? As this is a cow. How many cows are there inside the fence? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The tally mark is 
written here the number of animal is 4 next next animal what animal is this yes horse now count the number of horses 1 2 3 4 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so number of animals 5 next what is this yes goat count the number of goats 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so tally mark 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so number of animals 7 next what animal is this yes donkey count the donkeys inside the fence 1 2 3 so tally marks 1 2 3 so number of animals 3 total 19 dear students in today's class we have learned time money and what my information processing hope that you all understood the lessons how to write the book exercise neatly how to do all the sums by yourself okay ma meet you all in the next class thank you children